So I'm not going to like sugarcoat <clears throat> or anything like that, but I am just having a moment right now where it's like I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, realizing that I am not enjoying life like I thought I was. So, like in one of the vlogs er earlier this week, you saw me talking about like joy, and I'm just like, okay, well, God, okay, joy is a problem. So, like, I feel like after after realizing that. I was losing joy um i feel like i i quickly reclaimed it back so i feel like now i have joy like i feel jovial and whatnot but now i'm realizing like i'm not really like there's nothing fun for me right now like a lot of things i just don't enjoy doing anymore and i'm just like what is that god you know what i'm saying and i had a whole moment because i'm just like that, that freaks me out because it makes me think, oh my gosh, like, if I don't enjoy life, now what? Like, then what? What's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. So, I'm just, I'm like, you know what, Ariel? We're not going to be sad about it. We're not going to be depressed about it. We're not going to have a pity party about it or complain about it. I'm, I just don't have time for none of that. Instead, what I'm going to do is just say, all right, God, you know what? I am going to start a journey of discovering like what I do enjoy um, and discovering what is fun to me so that's what I'm gonna do um, and and while I'm doing that I am just praying y'all can pray too because I need some serious prayers why is this car stopping I'm trying to make a whole video you can keep on brush wait the heck like i'm trying to mind my freaking business and this car stopped right in front of me this is so weird nobody in the parking lot with me what the heck what we doing <sighs> anyways um until you get some ball to say something i'll just be here <clears throat> i also decided not decided um while i'm trying to like rediscover what's fun for me and whatnot I am also going to be praying for God to restore my desires in life. Um, because, y'all, I don't really desire to do much of anything right now. <clears throat> it's not because I don't want to. Like, I want to want to enjoy certain things, but I just don't. And it's just so odd to me. And it's like, I've never been like this before, ever. Like, never. Like, things I used to like, they used to be so much fun to me. They just aren't fun to me anymore. And it's like, I don't even have a desire right now to even seek to find out. And it's like, wow, that's deep. Like, it's deep. It's deep, bro. So, like, y'all definitely can pray. Because, I don't know. But I'm just going to trust God with my desires and trust God with me enjoying life. Trust God with my fun. Because, honestly, y'all, I don't. I can't tell you. That's why I hate the question. That's why I hate meeting new people. I hate right now the question, um, what do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? I hate that question a lot. I really hate it. Like, it literally pisses me off. And it's really just because I don't know. I don't know. Or the answer is nothing. It's nothing or I don't know. And that's not an exaggeration. It's my real life. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know what's fun to me anymore. Like, I do stuff. Cause, so I can be healthy, so I can get out the house and, you know, be a part of the world and actually physically go out. But, like, what's fun? You know? So it's like, I'm trying. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be praying for myself. Like, and then, like, isolation is a thing, too. I peeped games there earlier this week. And it's like, all right, Ariel, you peep isolation. You need to get out of isolation. It's like, you're right. But guess what? Of course, I don't have a desire to, like, mingle with people, meet new people, hang out with people. Like, Satan really is trying to be busy. Like, for real. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm on to game. So I can pray about it. But, I mean, ain't no buts. I mean, that just is what it is. Like, the good thing is that I recognize where I'm at. And so I can pray and proclaim and profess what what it really is and what it ain't 
so yeah that's where i'm at but while i was like thinking and whatnot i was like well ariel what is what's fun for you right now and i, I ain't got no long list y'all what's fun for me right now i really like watching steve harvey show that's like my jam right now and um i like writing but writing is can become stressful sometimes because i put a lot of pressure on myself to like write and make it make sense and sometimes i'm just like i don't want to make it make sense i just want to write um and then um i really think i'm a foodie now like i'm not talking about like some overeating type jaw i'm talking about like i really enjoy eating um I, I wish I was a person that enjoyed eating to the point where I could get some freaking fat on me. Shoot, like, nah, it ain't that type of eating party. I'm talking about, like, I get really excited, like, um, trying new dishes and, like, oh, look at that meal. Like, a good, well prepared meal. It's so exciting to me. It's like a whole thing. Like, I get really excited. So, I think I might be a little bit of a foodie. Like, I don't think I would mind, like, um, you know, just trying new foods, but. I don't really have no trying new foods money <laughs> or I do but I'm, I'm buying groceries so I don't really have money to like be going to different restaurants and stuff like that so yeah um but one thing I did say that I enjoyed when I was thinking about my list was um I like making YouTube videos um I do I really like it I like editing it I love when it uh it says uh public like it's published I like it a lot and I really just be doing it because it's fun for me. I don't care nothing about the accolades. Like a lot of a lot of people be like, oh, like, oh, you're trying to do this. Like, oh, when you go post a new video, stop what you're doing. Don't add the pressure, bro. Cause like YouTube to me is it's like simply just pure entertainment. Like it's no, it's nothing legit. It's not legit enough for me to make schedules and do all that crap. I don't care nothing about no subscribers. I don't care nothing about no counts. I don't care nothing about no views. I do this because it's really fun to me to share my life with y'all. As much as I don't want to admit that. Because my biggest thing is I hate social media because why are we showing everybody our lives? Like, who cares? Like, that's why we still consume with everybody else. We need to consume with ourselves. But I like showing y'all life. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm just trying to decide like how transparent I want to be, you know. But I'm a I'm a pray, and I'm gonna be excited in the meantime of this new journey I'm on of trying to rediscover hobbies and things, and not like um, I don't know I don't know what I was gonna say, but I'm at that park that I was at last time where I wrote you know this is my place. Um, I'm so disturbed. While I was sitting here, two little girls came walking by. Um, this is a pretty vast park, and it's in a neighborhood, a pretty big neighborhood. But two little girls came walking down the sidewalk. They were at least five. At No, the, at the most, they were five. Could have been four. But they were walking by themselves. The cutest little Sunday dresses, all colorful. Like, real cute. And that bothered me so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I was crazy and if I wanted those little girls, I could snatch them right now. Like, that really bothered me. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, maybe the parents like far, far behind. No parents, guys. I've been sitting here for a long time. The, the girls been at the park for 15 minutes now. And no parents came to claim them. Like, thank God they made it to the park. But that really disturbed me that they were out here. They walked to this park by themselves. Never would I ever let my four-year-old, like, no. I just know. Just based off of how I was raised, my parents would never. And like me being an educator, working with the babies, I'm not okay with that. So I don't know where the parents at, but I just went ahead and prayed for those little girls, for God to cover them on their way back because I don't like that they're out here by themselves, but I can't do nothing about that. So yeah, it is, what time is it? Like 4.30? So it's Sunday, went to church this morning. I went to the earlier service because, um, why did I go to, <gasps> girl, I went to the earlier service because this darn weather, unpredictable as crap. I don't know where I feel like I live. Girl, weather played games. 
so the original forecasted weather for this whole entire week was supposed to be storms like every single day so i've been on lookout right so yesterday was like oh yes yeah, definitely supposed to storm all day chill sun was out all day yesterday now at one point it did get real dark and i was like oh this ain't good but then it was a few drops and then the sun came back out and i was like okay but i'm scheduling my days around the freaking weather and ain't that going on so i'm like what the heck so this morning when i woke up i was like i know today definitely like sunday sunday was supposed to be the storm down day so i checked this morning when i got up and i saw it was like storm it, it said it's supposed to storm uh what in the world get off me book it said it, it said it was supposed to storm where i live at between like at one two and three o'clock and then i had to go check the weather for baltimore because my church is in baltimore so i'm like okay went to check the weather for baltimore and it said it's supposed to storm at 12 and then it's supposed to storm again at two to three o'clock i was like okay so here's the problem right my my service starts at 12. i get out of church at around 1 30 but for some odd reason i don't get back here till like three o'clock ish don't ask i don't know what we have it don't take that long y'all it don't take that long but between the hours of two and three i'll be on the road so i was like the similarity is that in both locations it's supposed to definitely storm between the hours of two and three o'clock it's 4 30 blue skies i'm like seriously like it did not ever storm so I, I went to an earlier service to skip over the storm and it was never a storm i'm like okay so i don't know how to i don't know anymore and then i was so really upset because when i got up this morning i got outside and got my car and got ready to go to church i was like if it wasn't gonna freaking storm today i would definitely go to the beach at the church definitely could have went to the beach at the church guys like definitely could have went but the weather is playing mad games so i'm just like chill but yeah um i've done enough talking so i'm about to go back home excuse me i'm about to go back home um i was going to go to harris teeter to get some um utensils and plates and bowls but i don't feel like and then I'm thinking about ordering food. So I'm like, why well, I need that for? But I think I should still go, right? That's responsible. So let's go to Harris Teeter. I really don't want to go to Harris Teeter, y'all. But let's go to Harris Teeter so we can get some plates and bowls and utensils so we don't have to keep washing dishes. All right, so let's get ready to go. Look, it's giving you a storm, right? Y'all like my hair? I call these my, uh, I call these my Marley's Swiss. Uh, but this time when I get them, I'm like, oh, it's kind of giving kinky twists a little bit. Is that my turn? Nah. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of giving kinky twists, you know, like back in the day, day. I've done these, I did these last year and I put beads on the ends. It was cute, but my problem with beads is that that's a vibe. And it's like, beads are fine for summertime. It is indeed summertime, so it would have been appropriate. However, beads like i can't be sophisticated with beads you know what i'm saying like i'm an i'm an administrator at my school and beads give like lisa bonet on the beach like how am i supposed to be delegating stuff when i'm freaking lisa bonet on the beach at work like freaking store for 0.14 seconds and guess who decided to start raining like seriously i had all my windows sunroof everything just like hey like no <laughs> so right now in my life i am trying to learn sports 
I always have been attracted to sports, not playing sports, like just being a sports fan. I've always been attracted to being a sports fan, but I do not understand them whatsoever. But I love sports so much, but I don't understand them. That's why I don't have any jerseys, no teams, no players, no nothing. Cause I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's who, what's what, what we're doing, what sport is this even? Like, don't ask me no questions because I'm still trying to learn. But I just love all things sports. Um, I love sports events. I love um, I love sports radio. I love sports talk shows. I love sports games. Like I don't know how to watch them. I don't know how to listen. But I'm learning. But I just love it so much. I'm a true sports girl. Um, but anyway, so it's, I say it's been about two months. I've been learning sports for about two months now. And I've, I've seen a lot of progress um, with the help of my amazing father. He's been helping me understand and learn sports. Um, and I really don't think I could be learning from anyone better because he knows sports all the way around. So I've been learning a lot. But I have to call my dad when I get home to ask him about... Um, What's the dude's name? Dalvin Cook. I'm about to say, girl, don't hit me. Dalvin Cook. Um, because, y'all, trust me, I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you know, you know. And if I sound stupid, let me know. But DeAndre Hopkins still has not been chosen by anybody. And this morning, I was uh, looking him up to see if he was still out there just hanging out, having a free fall. And he still is. Um, but while I was doing that, Cook started coming. I'm like, who the heck is Cook? I saw Dalvin Cook. I'm like, who the heck is Dalvin Cook? So, of course, I had to go on who Dalvin Cook was. And I'm like, okay. Like, Cook and Hopkins' names are coming up together. So, I'm like, hold up. Is Dalvin Cook good or something? I'm like, is Dalvin Cook better than DeAndre Hopkins? Because I know that everybody wanted DeAndre Hopkins. But now it's giving, actually, we want Cook. And I'm like... Okay. Like I forgot what team it is. Um it's not is it it's not the Cardinals. It's one of those teams. Obviously it's one of those teams, Ariel. But somebody right now is having a really tough debate about if they want Cook or DeAndre. And I'm just like, ooh, the competition, because I didn't know. Like, DeAndre Hopkins' name was out there. Like, he was the hot new shot. Like, my dad's a Cowboys fan, and he was like, dang, like, I wanted us to get DeAndre. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody wants him. He's a hot commodity. But I did not know he had competition, so I have to call my dad and see, like, is he good or not. I feel like he's going to be like, eh, you know, Dalvin Cook is good, too, but I feel like he's still going to say that DeAndre Hopkins is better. So, yeah. That's my that's my sports TED talk for today. But yeah, I do I do like sports a lot. Um football is my thing. I love football. I just did the whole NBA because what else am I supposed to do? Like that's the sport that was on at the time. So I did the NBA. I learned a lot about sports during the basketball season. A lot. And then this morning I also had to look up uh the Russells. I had to look up uh, Russell Westbrook versus Russell Wilson. You cannot tell me that is not complicated. Russell, two Russell W. Seriously, like I'll say, Ariel, one place football, one place basketball. Get it together, like you're right. And then I was like, oh, Russell Wilson is Sierra's husband. I got that. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna remember now. So I got that. And then, um, but I was learning about the Thompson twins this morning, and I watched a little interview from them. I was like, they're so cute. Like, I want them to do twin stuff. <laughs> like, I want them to move the same way. I want them to say the same things. But they're very arrogant. But it's like a, a, a confident arrogance. You know what I'm saying? I just hope that they perform as well as they are giving. They're not like humbling twins. They're like <laughs> cute. Like, uh, okay, Shay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, Thompson twins. All right. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, did anybody else look up this morning? Um, oh, I had to look up Kellen Moore because I kept hearing his name on the radio. I'm like, who the heck is Kellen Moore? And I learned that he's a new uh, coach for the Chargers. And I'm like, where did he come from? Came from the Cowboys. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, so is this good or is this bad? Because I was like, well, obviously he's some trash because Cowboys still aren't, you know, performing their best. But I said, Ariel, come on now, give or take. They've been doing better in the past two years than they have, like, overall. Like, they actually had a little small fear of a chance this year, you know? I, didn't they make it to the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken? Like, I don't remember. But, you know, so I'm like, okay, Kellen Moore might not be bad for the Chargers. And then um, I know that, uh, what's the name plays here? Justin Herbert. So I'm like, okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Justin Herbert, he's he's pretty good. 
I think. So I'm like, okay, Kellen Moore, Justin Herbert, MK Chargers. I don't know. So we'll see. But there was some, oh, who was it? Um, oh, I said West Ham's gonna be good this year. Oh yeah, Mike. Um, uh, what's his name? Is it? It's like it's not Mike McAllister. <laughs> Mike McKelly. Yo, I forgot his name, Lord. The new, the new, uh, the new coach for the, for Dallas is here. Mike. Is his name Mike, y'all? I want to say his name is Mike. Mike Mick somebody. I just saw it this morning. I feel like it's Mike McKelly, but that's, that doesn't sound familiar. But he didn't, he, he has some, some wins under his name. So I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm trying to learn sports, so... I sound good, right? I sound good. All right, you guys. Y'all are about to play Sims with me. Just for a few minutes. Um, not long, so I'm not really... Not super in the mood to play, but... I don't really have anything else to do. It is Sunday, and my mom is about to come home from work. So... The dad took the kids like to this art center. It's weird. So I think he's about to drop them back off. And then my daughter, she will turn into a teenager tomorrow. <clears throat> and I was contemplating about if whether or not I want to have the sweet 16 tomorrow or have it this weekend, but I think I'm gonna wait till the weekend. So that gives me time to like think about where I want to have it at. And it gives me time to like um, have her go to school and make friends so she can have somebody to come to the freaking Sweet 16. So um, what we're about to do, which y'all are about to see is my um, my father. This is a co-parenting family, by the way. Um, the parents were engaged, that did not work out. So they broke up and now the kids spend half of their week with their mom and another half with their dad. They stay with their mom in the house that both of their parents were in originally um that's where the mom stays it's a two bed two bath house those three bedroom two bath house this is small and quaint and cute um there are three kids um three children actually three children like listen it's been a struggle they were infants and they were newborns and they were toddlers it was a lot so now everybody's grown and their children now and my daughter turns into a teenager tomorrow. It's two girls and a boy. Um, I have one girl and a set of twins. Did not want twins, actually. I was trying for a boy and I got twins. Great. Because it's supposed to be one boy, one girl, and I got twins. So now it's two girls, one boy. And um, the dad stays in a high rise. The mom is a nurse and the dad is a detective. Um, the high rise is really nice. How many bedrooms is that? I think that's four bedrooms and everybody has their own bathroom. I know it's actually like two bathrooms, but yeah, his high rise is really nice. But yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all um, my little family. So yeah, right now, um, mom works on the weekends. So like I said, it's Sunday and mom is coming home from work in just a few minutes. Dad came over while the kids were at home on Sunday. This family be struggling to get to church, y'all. Please don't judge them. They be struggling on Sundays to get to church. And plus, mom works on the weekend, so yeah. But dad came over today and uh, just took the kids out while mom was at work. So he's about to bring them back to the house. Dad's probably gonna go back home. Mom's gonna cook dinner. And then we're gonna go ahead and age up our teenager, like right at 12 a.m. so that I can have her go to school tomorrow as a teenager and um, make friends and things like that so that she can make enough friends so we can invite people to the Sweet 16 on Saturday. So let me set y'all up and let's get ready to play a little Sims just for a little bit, just for a little bit.
All right, guys, so that's the end of Sims and uh, Sims vlog. So I will talk to y'all later.